Welcome back to Midnight Media Presents. This movie sucks. The crew is here tonight with our guest, Dan. That's me. To Becky. That's Dan. And tonight, we're reviewing Wolf Cop. Wolf Cop, round two. You guys don't know about this. <laughs> this is our second. A 2014 Canadian film directed and written by Lowell Dean, in which a sheriff's deputy is a wolf. It stars a man cat playing a wolf dog. Because he's a Leo. Oh. I would think Deputy Becomes a Wolf is a better synopsis. Like, it's not just a dog. Like, no, he is a wolf. <laughs> you could, I mean, right from the beginning, if you miss the fact that his name is. <laughs> Luguru. <laughs> Luguru. That is a really fun word to say, though. I don't know if it means anything. It means werewolf! Oh, really? <laughs> you never heard of the Ruguru? The Ruguru or the Luguru? They're the same thing. I know. Never Robo heard of Raggy. It. Yeah, it's a freaking Wait, werewolf. They... lives in the woods in Louisiana. Do they transform dick first? I hope so. <laughs> I sincerely hope so. <laughs> what? What the fuck? Okay. Well, let's hone in on that scene, Josh. <laughs> well, Straight it, into it. It takes place in a bar. It's the first transformation scene. Uh, we can show you a little bit of it here. It's, uh, it's, it's good stuff. I mean, the practical effects in this movie are amazing. Um, as, you, as you can see here, I mean, for a movie with a million dollar budget and Monopoly money, which is Canadian, uh, face. It looks pretty damn good. Looks like you. Ooh, I to stop over the yeah, worry. I mean, <laughs> great. I swear to God, like they didn't. They no, they, they went all. <laughs> they went all out with the special. Yeah, effects. they oh, did an amazing Someone job. definitely didn't get paid on this film. Yeah, it was probably the writers. <laughs> yeah, the director. <laughs> okay, so speaking of the writers, because Dan and I were talking about this before we went to bed last night. <laughs> Yeah, that was crazy, Don. Make it gay real quick. <laughs> I'm his roommate, by the way. <laughs> yeah. We know what that yeah. means. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, um, okay, so we were talking about it after the film. And I felt like this movie it started out as one thing and then, like, halfway through became something else. Did you guys feel like Like that? the main character, Lou Garou. Oh, <laughs> Who becomes a wolf. Well, it started out like kind of a serious werewolf. It started movie. out as an alcoholic. And became an, an alcoholic, <laughs> <laughs> who is also a werewolf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Uh, also, Dan had a great catch. Um, so, spoilers, by you? the way. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, no. He, uh, so, at yeah, the end of the movie, you remember when uh, the dude's friend goes like evil? Yeah, Kenny. Terry. Okay. So, Dan pointed out. Why the? Why did he feed him Wolfsbane if he was one of the satanic yeah, cultists? Yeah, that's a great point. <laughs> who turned him into a werewolf? Why did he try to test him by feeding him Wolfsbane? Also, I mean, just like, Lou, you're a wolf. <laughs> like, he obviously he knew if he was in on it, right? Yeah. Yeah. He did it to him. It, none of that made any sense. That's why I thought this movie was like sense. written in the editing process. And Dan agreed to yeah. some extent. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I hadn't thought That's of that. That's believable. It doesn't make only, a lot of sense. Only one writer's listed. That being the director. Dean, the director. <laughs> <laughs> it, it shows. <laughs> well, you know, sometimes you get on your 20th edit of a script and you leave a big gaping plot hole. You know? He just wanted the dick explosion. Yeah. <laughs> so the, really, fun the fact, film centered around that scene. Lowell Dean. Dean is from Supernatural, and they live in Lawrence, Kansas. There's a Lawrence in Massachusetts, which is right next to Lowell. And this movie was filmed in Canada. <gasps> yeah, Saskatchewan. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Danny, you know say the Earth is flat. I don't fucking remember what it was. <laughs> Are you I'm kidding fair. me? <laughs> what? <laughs> Whatever he was gonna say. Yeah, I'm sure it was important. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, let's get back to the the, so the penis explosion. exploding.
square dick written here. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Um, it's a, it's a, it's a phallic moment <laughs> in cinema history. So he's relieving himself in a urinal and begins to uh, piss blood. I wasn't sure if there's a nicer way to say that. There isn't. There no. is not. <laughs> Starts, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it gets worse. <laughs> Uh, quick, quick change of subject here. I know nope. we don't want to go stick with dick <laughs> nope, explosions. Nope, all about the dick. I think we're gonna be on that for a while, but you know, we'll we'll circle back. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, you're did you guys Gensaki. notice that at the beginning in the bar, the switchblade that they use is the same one we had for No Exit? Is it really? It's yeah. the same one everyone uses in their short <laughs> yeah. film. Yeah. You can buy them at cool. iParty. Like, you guys have seen No Exit? Dan watched it, yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah, but somehow he forced me into watching it. <laughs> <laughs> and all his friends, too. <laughs> uh, also, you guys remember the scene uh, when the dude is kicking a dog in front of the cop? Yeah. Yeah. Did that confuse anyone else? Because I was just like, why would he do that? It was a metaphor. I was sm have you ever talked to a small par town person and seen how they interact with police officers? N I, maybe not. They're not fans. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <clears throat> He's like, what are you gonna do about it? Shoot me? Also, they know that this guy's a drunk. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he definitely takes everything in stride. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's also, almost like he becomes a wolf, and like that doesn't bother him. Right? <laughs> like, not at all. He's no like, oh, issues. Okay, yeah. I'm a wolf now. That's cool. Not yeah. having alcohol is kind of his primary concern at any point. <laughs> mm -hmm. Which actually boots? is what makes him a super powered wolf. Allegedly. Yeah. yeah. I w did you notice he was getting his ass kicked and then he got a drink near the end there? Fuck, it he's was ethanol like powered. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. Yeah, no, it's, he's, he's powered by booze like I a race like car. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel like the guy kicking the dog was almost entirely existed as a setup for the uh, post credit scene. There's a post credit scene? scene? Oh my lord! Yeah, you're the only one we saw. I've <laughs> seen this movie three times. <laughs> I didn't know there was a post credit scene. There's a post credit scene wherein our titular wolf cop sees that guy about to attack his dog again, and something happens, I don't know. He growls at him or something. You didn't watch it? I did, but that was like maybe 90, 98 minutes ago, so. <laughs> That's forever. Dog the memories years. need yeah. to face. But I'm sure that okay. you can take the post credit scene and put it in there. The yeah. important bits? Yeah. And uh, then now we'll that I know, know there is one. Uh, in the scene. I would think he would kill the guy, but no, he doesn't. You know he I mean? might. Oh, he could. Oh, I just <laughs> watched it. I important don't remember. Bits. Uh, we also learned last night that apparently there's a Wolf Cop 2. I didn't know that. Yeah, does it, exist? On a third it one, does exist. Yeah, yeah, it came out in 2017, the second one. And also the skull face guy in the barn fight scene, best part in the entire movie. Man, he that gets his movie. face ripped off and for like 10 minutes, <laughs> he's just running around <laughs> screaming at people in B-roll <laughs> shots. It, it was worked, awesome. It worked really well. It reminded me of Indiana Jones. Yeah, yeah. It had that vibe. Uh, when uh, they don't show him for a minute, yeah, and I then thought he was. He comes up to the window and just goes, ah! I, I laugh very hard at that. Uh, plus, the effects looked amazing. The effects, I was genuinely impressed. Yeah, with and those. I did not go into this with high expectations. Me neither. <laughs> I was pleasantly surprised. In fact, they were low. Yeah. Um, it was weird because, like, we were talking about it last night, and, like, okay, so. A million dollars in Canadian money, that's like, what? Like That's like five bucks. <laughs> that's yes. that, maybe six. Yeah. Uh, so it's not a lot in, in America. Maybe like That's gotta be like 550 grand? Probably around there. It's yeah. also in 2015 too. Or, or 14, but yeah. Out. Yeah, so. Or 13, really. So a little well, no, more. We're still in 17 a little days, more than half. So. <laughs> I don't know how long the editing took. Uh, And that. Is crazy that they were able to achieve that with practical effects on that budget. You right? Know what I mean, That's you should wild. be so lucky. Yeah, I mean, especially <laughs> like, say they actually paid the actors. You know what I mean? Like, that's crazy. And I mean, they didn't have a lot of crazy locations and stuff, but Saskatchewan. Well, I mean, I guess the barn fight was 
They did blow up a barn. They did blow up a barn. They blew up a barn. They also... Uh, <laughs> we gotta get out of here! Grab some meth! <laughs> they also made a wolf cop car, which was pretty cool. Yeah. 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 But why, though? Yeah, because he, never he does wanted anything to. With it. It's just, it, they're in the middle of shooting up a gas station or whatever the hell they were doing. And he's like, yeah, let's go in that, that hot rod shop and yeah, he screw up this the car. Door and he needed to fix his car. <laughs> yeah. He didn't replace the door. No, he made it better. <laughs> no, he pulled off the other door. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is, a, this is it. Drunk, so uh, ah, cop. cop. <laughs> we only needed to see about five seconds. Also, in that barn, they're making like red meth or something. I red it was meth. Regular yeah, meth, which... I thought it was uh, uh, fish eggs. No, I thought called? it was meth. No, it was red, which was I it? assume only happens because this was filmed around when Breaking Bad was airing. But like, oh, that's a good point. That yeah. never comes Everyone up again. Everyone remembers the famous the red meth, meth yeah. from Breaking Bad. They just like they just kill a bunch of meth well, dealers. Blue. <laughs> yes, colored. Yeah, they were important, I guess. I guess I their their the head gang member drug. was a shapeshifter yeah, so or whatever. But... Drug oh man. yeah, that's clear like meth is. Guys, so speaking, he just brought this up. So the head gang member of the meth gang. Yeah. Was also one of the shapeshifters. Yeah. Yeah. He but was he was sh- also the head of the cops. Yeah. Yeah. So, do you guys remember at the end when the gang shows up and the head dude with the the teardrop tear shows up, like they're they're gonna fuck shit up, mm-hmm. and then he walks off like he's gonna fuck shit up, and then Turns we don't see him again. But then he's the chief, and then he's it's as if the people showed up as two different people and then became one person at some point down the line. I was getting the feeling because every time the camera cuts in that last final fight scene. He's a different character. Yeah. <laughs> so I get the feeling like mm. they, they couldn't get all the actors to show up on one day. So, <laughs> so just each time they filmed it, it's a different dude and they're like, oh, it's a shapeshifter, I don't know. Yeah, I'm just gonna step out here and say, the fight scenes weren't filmed or choreographed well. The effects were great, especially when he was the werewolf and he was tearing people to shreds. But whenever two human people were fighting, just flashing back and forth like we're Liam Neeson jumping over a fence. <laughs> it was very hard to follow. I thought it was And then switching characters back and forth in the middle of that. I, I wasn't a fan of that. But it was literally, I think, my only negative note about the film. <laughs> you gonna say, Dan, you thought it was great? I didn't think it was great, but it, it was I didn't think it was particularly offensive. I was offended. <laughs> Oh, did you guys see the puppy poaching sign that kept coming up? <laughs> no, I, don't. I have no idea what you're talking about. I think times. you mentioned that while we were watching it, and yep. I still didn't see it. <laughs> and they kept showing it, the puppy poaching, and I was like, why do they keep showing the puppy poaching sign? What is it? What was it? I don't know. They just what showed it, it a bunch of times. Puppy Ooh. poaching. Don't puppy punch. Puppy punch? <laughs> don't punch a puppy either. Poach. If you poach it, don't punch it. But if you punch it, you can poach it. Like an egg. Yeah. Like a- that makes sense to me. Puppy egg. What? <laughs> oh, no. Jesus Christ. Dog eggs. Well, all right. Let's break down the 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 you know core antagonist group in this. It's the whole town is an evil cult, right? Or basically, no. You know? There's three like people. three shapeshifters that like run the whole town. <clears throat> but they're the co- they like the run mayor, the, cops, though, the chief of police. Like- yeah. Who is the sheriff? Hey, that's kind of weird. How do cops work in Canada? I assume like they work here. Okay, but then the sheriff would be county level. But you also have to assume that the people who wrote this movie know how cops work, which I'm assuming they don't. They certainly don't know what track mics look like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, in this... What was I gonna say? Uh, oh yeah, the shapeshifters in the town. There was three of them that were running the town. Yeah. But they, um, yeah, they didn't make any sense because I was pointing out to Dan that the mayor was the old lady. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But so she worked all day as the mayor and then went and worked as a bar no, no, wench the, the hot for the bar rest of the, not the old lady. But also the old lady. She she was both. Yeah, yeah she was both people. Yeah. That really, like the whole cast of this movie is three characters. <laughs> Basically, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, because that's what I'm thinking. I'm like, okay, so she works all day as the old lady, old lady mayor, and then she gets off of that, and then she goes to the bar and works another eight hour shift as a bar wench. Yeah, well, just like the chief of police works all day as the chief of police, and then goes and makes meth. 
Shapeshifters Redness. need to sleep too. What right? makes you, what makes no, you th- no, no, they drink werewolf blood. <laughs> they snort <laughs> werewolf blood. They snort. They don't sleep. <laughs> no, that that should wake you up. Nothing about this movie makes a lot of sense. No, but the one line is dope. Some of them were, yeah. Also, the annual drink and shoot. Yeah, that was. That's. <laughs> I mean, that sounds like Which they we talk about here. for the whole movie. Yeah, they pick and up a lot. They don't tell you like really what it is. What? It doesn't happen. Like, People get drunk and hunt the werewolf. <laughs> I assume normally there is no werewolf. Right. Do people just? But this time there was shooting, a werewolf. This time there was. Um, liquor donuts. We have the. <laughs> Are liquor donuts a real thing? There's no way. No. So was there liquor in the donuts? I was under the impression that it was a store that sold both liquor and donuts. That's a terrible. <laughs> yeah, but like when he's in the jail cell, he's like, I, I need booze. And then he hands him a bottle of whiskey, drinks the little thing. He's like, I need more. And he hands him the- Liquor donuts. Liquor donuts. <laughs> hard to True. Jason's <laughs> getting ideas. <laughs> They're like filled with rum chata or something. It's probably yeah. like rum cake, right? Like Something. You just soak yeah. the donut in, in liquor. Rum balls. That's you a, get a little hot. rum ball in your mind. Uh, also, like half of this movie is shots of people pouring liquor into containers. It's a very alcohol centric story. The bar scene before his first transformation, he downs what, like five shots in like, they keep showing the clock too, yeah. in like six minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's just getting loaded. And presumably one of those had drugs in it, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's the impression. Which is like the third time in this movie someone gets. Gets roofied. <laughs> that happens a lot in this movie. <laughs> he gets tranked, he gets roofied, he gets kind of raped, I guess, sort of. I, no. no, that was consensual until he I'm found out. I'm glad you brought that up. It was the, a uh, lizard. furry scene. Yeah. yeah, that scene went on for way too long. Yeah, so it was hilarious. Poorly veiled fetish was on display. <laughs> How do you think her audition went? Who, I mean, the old lady or the not? The young chick who got felt up by the very furry. Well, she used a body double for her love scene. How yeah, do you know that? Because, because I read it on the internet. Because <laughs> clearly they're different tests. And you can also tell. because that's <laughs> fair. Dan is our, uh, our resident tit connoisseur. <laughs> One of my many talents. He's like a sommelier of boobs. <laughs> <laughs> I was... ah, Jack, that was a good take. Sommelier of boobs. <laughs> say Somalian. <laughs> He's like a Somalian pirate. <laughs> of boobs. Yeah. What? I'm the... the titties now. <laughs> Speaking of, Tina, the other police officer, was certainly my love interest in the film. <laughs> Yeah. Just wanted that on the record. <laughs> That's it? That was the whole thing? <laughs> that was the whole thing. <laughs> Alright, I like it. I'll take it. Uh, that character, like, doesn't appear until, like, three quarters of the way till the movie, does she? She's yeah, in the she beginning, does. and then, yeah, she's not in it, and then she comes back. And, and at the very end, she's suddenly, like, the most important character when, like, you don't know anything about <laughs> what's going on with her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Also, the coroner was eating. In every scene the coroner was in, he was eating yeah, something. Yeah, get it? Because he's fat. That <laughs> that sounds that like oh, joke? I get the joke now! Because <laughs> that sounds exactly like something Josh would write. Hey, <laughs> hey! Hey, you used to go on and on. You're like, fat people, they're funny. <laughs> what do you mean by that? I, <laughs> I don't remember that at all. Oh my lord. You really liked fat people in particular because you just thought they were funny. <laughs> Like, remember, just that they existed. I remember just the, that they existed. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is, this is Dave. He eats. <laughs> Isn't that funny? That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Write this down. <laughs> <laughs> Write this down. So where's the joke? That is the joke. That, that, no, that's the whole joke. I remember <laughs> going on about the guy from Blues Traveler now that you mention yeah. it. <laughs> he swallows his words. That's what makes the way he sings so good. He's just hungry for the music. Yeah, you remember. Or I do. Hungry for the music. <laughs> oh, Wolf Cop. Uh, All right. Movies. 
You guys want to give her some ratings? You want to talk a little bit more about the furry sex scene? <laughs> so that <laughs> happened. <laughs> it happened. Yeah. So there's a lot of things about this movie, but like... My disappointment is immeasurable. There's not a lot to talk about with the story because like, it doesn't make any sense. It makes perfect sense. There's so many yeah. shapeshifters for 200 movie. years have it, controlled it makes... this city and they need to, every 32 years, kill a person to create a werewolf out of another person, wait until an eclipse, kill him, take his blood and then drink it, well, snort it for 32 years. And then they, and then they, they, they re hang rinse out. and repeat. They and in between out. that, they get a wolf cop car and a drunk because right. it's cool. Yeah, it was clearly it's like comedic. It, and the he movie's a really not that complex, which is pretty dope. <laughs> yeah, he only drives that car one time. No, he drives it a couple times. Yeah. And no, then, the, then, then, then also the Tina chick drives, drives it. Yeah. yeah, no, the chick drives it, but he only drives it once. He drives he it twice. Two or three times. At least. No, he makes it, drives it to the meth den, blows up the meth den, and then drives back. Oh, never two times. It again. That's one he journey. He gets out of the vehicle. That's he, two times. He gets in it at the end of the movie. To drive away. Does he? Yeah, I think. Probably. Maybe. Probably. You just watched it! Sounds it. like something. I know. I paid attention and everything. <laughs> you took notes! And so. They're not like. comprehensive. <laughs> How does it end? <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you fall asleep, Jack? No, I'm just, you know. They kill all the shapeshifters. And the cycle Who stops. Who kills the shapeshifters? <laughs> because a drunk guy. Turned into a wolf. I do love his quick draw at the end, killing the last guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so they talk He's about so cool. how nothing, like, you can't kill him and bullets don't affect him, but then he gets, like, poked with a sword and he's like, oh god, because I'm dying. during the eclipse, yeah, he's he supposed sweet. to be vulnerable. Yeah, that's but why. But then I he gets shot wait. like 50 times. Because he times. drinks a bunch of booze yeah. <laughs> and he gets, gets strong drunk. again. Like, because Willie, whose name is not Terry or Kenny, <laughs> at one point is like, oh man, this guy is so much more powerful than the other wolves. I don't know why. And it was the booze. It's heavily implied to be the booze. It's, yes, it's, uh, it's, booze. it's definitely the booze. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the booze will do it. Uh, yeah, he runs on was E85. Willie one of the shapeshifters? Yes. Okay, yeah. <laughs> there were only three. Jack, I, I got confused because there were so many faces. You're, you're like cooking three dinner with a baby on one arm, watching a movie. I don't know what the fuck is going on. I Willie didn't was let one my of the baby watch Wolf. <laughs> Not be responsible. <laughs> Willie was one of the shapeshifters. Terry was well, the guy the running for mayor, and Kenny having... was not in the film. <laughs> they see who who did Willie shapeshift into? I mean, just I'm, Kenny. Uh, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, no, Willie um, doesn't really shape shift into anyone. No, he does. He shapes in. That shapes. That shapes into like a couple people. I knew he was movie. bad. I just couldn't remember if he shape shifted. Bad. Well, everyone in the movie has like two roles. All the shapeshifters, but Willie, I don't think he does. Though. Everyone, he all the shapeshifters. Those two. The three. Uh, is there I mean, two there or were three, three total. Yeah. But Willie. But six Maybe it was the corner? to eight characters. Oh, he was the corner. Uh, he that's, was? Yes. Yeah, that's what he I... He shapeshifts into the corner. He does? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't remember that. Because he's like, he yeah, man, I'm a somebody. shapeshifter. Bloop, now I'm fat. Bloop. Then he goes back. And he's funny because he's fat. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> he eats a sandwich. <laughs> Donuts, mostly. All right, let's do ratings. Jack. Last time we did right to left, so start left to right. And Penis we'll go up and down. transformation rules overall. 10 out of 10, uh, all, all for the no. dick explosion. Where are we starting? Let's start with you. You, you want the dick explosion. Um, it's actually pretty good. Um, thoroughly entertaining. Pretty pretty wild. We I watched mean, the some, sequel. There was some, uh, just, uh, not unless we're doing an episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it yeah. pretty great, I loved it. No, I won't watch the sequel. <laughs> Maybe, someday. I'm a little wolf copped out. Fair. Um, Give it a 7.5. There was some low quality moments, you know, but then it's like, it's supposed to be kitschy, kind of like, you know, yeah. the one-liners, kind of, um, you know, so it's like, kind of meant to be that way. Mm. Mm. Ass. Cool. And good acting for all immature actors. Yeah. yeah. Immature. <laughs> <laughs> immature. <laughs> for all immature actors. <laughs> <laughs> None of them over 18. Well, I 
hope they were, because there were scenes. Of Otherwise, they got analysis. A lot of people got pissed on in this movie. Yeah. There was an awful yeah. lot of pissing. <laughs> there was a lot of pissing. Yeah, Dan pointed that out too. Again, the the director writers barely discussed fetish. All right, so does that raise the bar for you in terms of ratings? I'm gonna raise mine to an eight now. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the thing, wolf cop, wolf cock. I like it. Luguru. Yeah, <laughs> Luguru, Ruguru. Louisiana, Canada, Saskatchewan. However they say it. Yeah, those guys. We're sorry. I'm gonna give it. <laughs> we should all be sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a 7.2. I'm not really specific. I'm not gonna do a point two, but you can give it that. I'm giving it. I'm giving it hard. 7.2. Dan? Uh, yeah, I'd say it's about an 8 out of 10. That's definitely a fun movie to watch. Uh, not if you're screamish, but the effects were amazing. Mm -hmm. The acting was mid, and it's a fun B-movie. Yeah? I absolutely would recommend. Also, did you say screamish? <laughs> I was speaking quick. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I feel like screamish is is a cool uh, is a cool uh, mix of squeamish and screaming. If you have a friend who screams when they watch horror movies, you should watch this. You should do a side that, channel. That would make this a lot of fun. Yeah. Just Josh alone rating scary <laughs> movies called screamish. I think they really missed an opportunity when his wolf dick comes out and <laughs> it's hairy instead of red. Oh yeah, they, yeah. They really oh, you wanted the red rocket. I think that would have been the way to go. Well, here's the thing. Uh, so this movie uh, made me mad in a lot of ways because it started off like it was horny and angry. Like it was, yeah. No, a little bit. So it started off like it was gonna go uh, try to be like a kind of campy horror movie, but then as soon as he turns into a werewolf, which is weird because he doesn't remember his first transformation and they do it like it's a horror movie mm -hmm. in the bathroom. But then the next time he transforms, it's just like a straight comedy. And yeah, so it's... it was it was weird and my brain didn't like it. So your problem with this movie is that it started boring and it got interesting? <laughs> I like that it was like a superhero origin film. I... All right, so here's my thing. The practical effects on their own raised this movie quite a few notches for me. Mm. I'll give it a straight six. Six. Uh, I that's like- That's rough. Well, no, I mean, that's above average, you know? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Five it, and a half to six, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I, I think it had uh, fantastic practical effects, worth it just for the transformation scenes. Uh, I thought the lead Better character- things. No. <laughs> Nothing's better than things. Uh, we love you, things director guy. <laughs> <laughs> you can't remember his name either. Uh, Barry J. Gillis, yes oh, I can. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, Barry J. Gillis, we're sorry. Yeah, that too. But I mean, I don't think I mean, am. I don't have anything to be sorry for, it was you two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sorry. <laughs> I appreciate well, I you sorry. watching our- Can I simultaneously be sorry and stand by everything I said? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that! Anyways, uh, yeah. So, Thanks for watching, guys. No, 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 no. <laughs> Never mind, take it back! <laughs> I just want to say, when I give it a 7.2 out of 10, I'm rating it for what it is. Yeah, I'm not like... Like, you know, I might give Titanic a 7.8. But I'm not rating them on the same scale. I'm like, your Star Wars eight and a half. You gotta meet the movie where but it is. The, yeah, you gotta you know, meet it where it is. In 2014, Also, I make up all Canada. these numbers on the spot. Mm -hmm. Um, But yeah, all in all, I would say, this is a, this movie sucks, recommend. This is a good, bad <laughs> movie. Wolfcock, cop. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Available yeah. on Amazon. All right, Dan, take us out. Lift us up on that spaceship. What? <laughs>